All right, I wanted to show you how I've overcome some of the shell limitations in SolidWorks. Um, I've in the past I've often had it failing, and uh, often I've fixed it by increasing the shell thickness or changing the shape, changing the external shape uh, to get around the problem. Uh, but in this case, I didn't want to do either of those things. I didn't want to change the external shape and I needed the shell to be of a certain thickness in certain places and it was just failing. Uh, it's basically failing in this corner and in this corner so basically the, outs the outside shapes of here and here the curvature was uh, was giving me giving me some errors and as you see I've, uh, I've managed to fix it here. Um, it's basically this thing is, uh, well, this, this shape was created by uh, surface geometries and uh, turned into a solid shape. And then I basically chopped the pieces up and uh, shelled them. It's designed to be 3D printed. In fact, it's actually printed at this moment. So there is one or two things on the internet suggesting how to get around these issues, but uh, neither of them, or rather none of them, in this case were helping me very much so I kind of figured out a system myself. Um, here's a clue here to what's going on if I just display this this thing here we've got a a surface extrusion uh, the body was split into two and then um, then it was shelled and then we can uh, recombine to form to just get one body again. Um, I'll show you an example. Let me just hide that again. So I'll work through an example with you. We've got this part here that I've just created. It's basically uh, it's basically a line with a spline. It's extruded and it's got a small taper on it of about half a degree or something like that. And if we try and shell this feature, let's say we want it to be one millimeter, we'll shell from that face. Uh, you can tell it's going to fail because it's taking quite a long time over it. So there we go, we've got a message that it's got uh, rebuild errors. Uh, we can try and check by doing this what the exact problem is as if we didn't already know um, so it doesn't like this face uh, actually that's a bit of a surprise I thought it would be something else but no doubt if we fix that face there would be something else that will be failing next it just uh, doesn't like these small areas here um, and in fact we if, if you are 3d printing this part you wouldn't really want this part to be shelled all the way down it would be nice if it was if this part was to remain solid it would make it a stronger piece and it would also probably be a bit lighter if our infill was was not very dense so okay so how do we how do we overcome that um, the the key is to to cut the part off that we don't want to be shelled so what I've done here is created a plane underneath the part and I've um, created a sketch on it which is basically a couple of, well it's a spline and we've extruded the spline into a surface feature it cuts through the body and we then split the body in two. We can see we've now got uh, two bodies and now we can do the shell feature and as we can see um, it's only cut the one body so it's uh, this awkward trailing edge if you like this part here has been left out of the shell and of course we can we can put this cut in any position we want to suit our geometry 
um, once that's once you once you've got your shell where you want it, you can combine the two pieces again. As we see, we've now got one solid body. Uh, we can hide that uh, hide that shell, and we're basically back to where we were. But we've now got a successful um, a successful split of uh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Sorry, a successful shell, I should have said. Uh, with uh, that's actually two millimeters. So uh, before um, I couldn't get a, a thicker shell than about half a millimeter because of this bad edge. Um, so we've now got it up to two. But we could you could by moving this line around you could uh, you could split it anywhere. Anyway, so that's how I've overcome it. I didn't find this system anywhere on the internet. Um, but I think it's it's quite a simple way to, to, to just temporarily chop off the part you don't want to be to be shelled. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful for you. Thanks very much.